Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we like to share the Marilyn series of sine x cos x. As usual, we let f x be equal to the function which is sine x times cos x. If let's say we don't want to apply the product rule for uncountable number of times, we can actually apply trigonometric identity and this is equal to 1 over 2 sine 2x at point x is equal to 0 sine 0 equal to 0 0 times 1 over 2 will still be 0 let's differentiate with respect to x differentiate sine is positive cos angle remain differentiate angle we obtain 2 2 times 1 over 2 equal to 1 so which means that at point x is equal to 0 we have 1 since cos 0 is equal to 1. Let's differentiate for the second time. Differentiate cos is negative sine. Angle remain 2x. Differentiate angle we have 2. So which means that at point x equal to 0, we still have 0 since sine 0 is equal to 0. Differentiate for the third time. Differentiate sine is positive cos. Positive negative still negative and the angle should remain 2x. Differentiate angle we have 2. 2 times 2 equal to 4. So which means that at point x is equal to 0, we have negative 4. Since cos 0 equal to 1, 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Let's differentiate for the fourth time. So we should have, by using the same idea, differentiate cos is negative sine. So negative, negative, positive. Angle remain 2x. 2 times 4, 8. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. Differentiate for the fifth time by using the same idea. So we have a2, 16, cos 2x. At point x equal to 0, we have 16. Differentiate for the sixth time, we have 16 times 2, 32. Cos negative sine 2x. At point 0, we have 0. Now let's differentiate for the 7th time. We have negative 32 times 2, 64. Sine to cos 2x. At point x equal to 0, we have negative 64. Up to this stage, we are able to generalize the values of the derivative f point x equal to 0. From here, we can notice that only the odd derivative contains value of this 0. So which means that we should take f 2m plus 1 in order to have the odd derivative at point 0. We should have plus minus sign should be considered. So we take minus 1 to the power of n, where n starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. That's why we have positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. And we should take the value of 2 to the power of 2n. So when we have 0, the first one will be to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. When we have 1, so power 2, we have 4. When we have 2, power 4, we have 16, and so on. Therefore, if let's say we want to obtain the value of the 9 derivative at point x is equal to 0, we should refer to 2n plus 1 is equal to 9, which means that n is equal to 4. Or we can count here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So which means that the value for the 9 derivative at point equal to 0 is equal to negative 1 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 2 times 4, which is 8. And we should have 256. And for the 11 derivative at point 0, we should have negative 1. Since this is 4, the next one is 5. And we have 2 to the power of 2 times 5 is 10. And this is equal to since this is odd, so we should have negative 2 to the power of 10 is 1024. From here, we can see that by using this generalized function, we are able to obtain as many terms as we want. Let's build the Marilyn series. We have sine x cos x is equal to value 1 over this is first derivative, so 1 factorial x to the power of 1. And we add minus 4 and this is for the third derivative so 3 factorial x to the power of 3 next we have 16 divided by fifth derivative so 5 factorial x to the power of 5 next we have 
minus 64 and this is the 7 derivative 7 factorial x to the power 7 and we plus 256 over 9 factorial x to the power 9 and lastly we have negative 1024 over 11 factorial x to the power 11 and so on let's evaluate the value so 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 so 1 times x is x plus minus minus 4 divided by 3 factorial 3 factorial is equal to 6 so negative 4 divided by 6 we have negative 2 over 3 and we have x to the power 3 next we have positive 2 over 15 x to the power 5 plus minus minus 4 over 315 x to the power 7 and next we have positive 2 over 2835 x to the power 9 and lastly plus minus is minus 4 divided by 155925 x to the power 11 and so on and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you.